आपका प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फॉर द सिस्टम शोन आई शोन इन फिगर डिटरमाइन द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा इफ द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ थ्री फोर्सेस इज टू बी वर्टिकल सेकंड क्वेश्चन करस्पोंडिंग मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो दीज आर द थ्री फोर्सेस इट इज गिवन वन इट इज 100 न्यूटन 150 न्यूटन एंड 200 न्यूटन सो द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दीज थ्री फोर्सेस इट इज टू बी वर्टिकल ओनली ओके सो दिस इट इज गिवन द रिजल्टेंट resultant of forces resultant of forces is vertical vertical okay that is means it will be summation of fx is equal to summation of summation of fx is equal to rx is equal to it will be zero this data it is given okay so first of all resolve all these forces so first of all resolve this 100 newton So angle it is with respect to x-axis. So it will be 100 cos alpha, 100 cos alpha, 100 cos alpha. Then second one it is 100 sin alpha. Second force it is 100 sin alpha, 100 sin alpha, okay, 100 sin alpha. So now this one it is now resolve 150 newton. will take care so 150 newton okay so total angle it is with respect to x is it is alpha plus 30 total angle it is with respect to s it is alpha plus 30 alpha plus 30 okay total angle it is alpha plus 30 okay so 150 resolve this 150 newton so 150 is resolved in two direction so 150 1 50 cos in bracket alpha plus 30 150 cos alpha plus 30 okay alpha plus 30 alpha plus 30 okay then second one it is in vertical direction 150 sin sin in bracket alpha plus 30 in bracket alpha plus 30 alpha plus 30 Alpha plus thirty. Okay, so then two hundred newton. It is resolved in two direction. Two hundred. So angle it is with respect to x-axis. So that's why it will be two hundred cos alpha. Two hundred cos alpha. Then two hundred sine alpha. Then two hundred sine alpha. Then two hundred sine alpha. Okay. So this one we have resolved this all these forces. Okay. So first of all, summation of x algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. Sorry, horizontal forces. So calculate summation of x is equal to summation of x is equal to algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces is equal to. So we need some assumptions here. When the force it is going right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it will be right side. It will be take positive. If the direction of force it is in left side, it will be take negative. The direction of force it is left side, then it will be take negative. Negative. Okay. Summation of x. So now 100 cos alpha. It is going right side, so it will be take positive. 100 cos alpha. Then, then second one it is 150 cos alpha plus 30. It is going also. Right side, so it will be take positive one fifty cos alpha plus thirty, alpha plus thirty, alpha plus thirty, alpha plus thirty. Then minus two hundred cos alpha. Two hundred it is going left side, so minus two hundred cos alpha. Minus two hundred. This two hundred it is going left side, so minus two hundred cos alpha is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Okay. So now divide, divide, divide. Hundred, hundred. Throw the equation. Throw the equation. Throw the equation. Throw the equation. Okay. So hundred cos alpha to be get cos alpha, cos alpha, cos alpha. 
plus one, 150 by 100, it will be 1.5, 1.5 cos, cos alpha plus 30, cos alpha plus 30, alpha plus 30, cos alpha plus 30. Then minus 200 divided by 100, it will be 2 cos alpha, 2 cos alpha, 2 cos alpha is equal to 0. 2 cos alpha is equal to 0, is equal to 0, okay? So we know that cos, cos in bracket, a plus b, a plus b, we can write down this one in this format, is equal to cos a, cos a into cos b, cos b, cos b minus sin a into sin b minus sin a into sin b sin b okay so this equation write down in this format cos alpha plus 30 you can write down cos a plus b in this format okay so cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha then plus plus 1.5 cos alpha plus 30 it will be write down cos alpha cos alpha then cos 30 then cos 30 cos 30 then minus sin alpha then minus sin alpha sin alpha then sin 30 into sin 30 sin 30 bracket plus minus 2 cos alpha minus 2 cos alpha minus 2 cos alpha is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay so now can simplify this equation cos alpha cos alpha cos alpha then plus plus 1.5 into cos alpha cos 30. So cos 30 into 1.5. It will be 1.1.299 cos alpha. 1.299 cos alpha. Okay. So just solving with this bracket. Okay. 1.5 into sin alpha into sin 30. So it will be minus minus 1.5 into sin 30. Sin 30. That will be 0 0.75, 0 0.75 sin alpha, sin alpha, sin alpha, sin alpha, then minus, then minus 2 cos alpha, 2 cos alpha, 2 cos alpha is equal to 0, is equal to 0, is equal to 0. Take all terms cos alpha in one side. First of all, take cos alpha terms. So cos alpha 1 plus 1.299 minus 2. So it will be 0 0.299 cos alpha. 0 0.299 cos alpha. 0 0.299 cos alpha. Then minus minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.75 sin alpha. Minus point from face sin alpha is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Okay. So you can write down 0 0.299, 0 0.299 divided by 0 0.75, 0 0.299 sin alpha, sin alpha. Sorry, 0 0.299 it will be cos alpha, cos alpha. cos alpha is equal to 0 0.75 cos alpha is equal to 0 0.75 sin alpha sin alpha okay. Okay. so you can take tan alpha is equal to here tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to 
मैग्निट्यूड मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्ट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्ट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ रिजल्ट रिजल्ट सो फॉर दैट वी नो दैट इट इज समेशन ऑफ एफ वाई इज इक्वल टू आर अलजेब्रिक सम ऑफ ऑल द वर्टिकल फोर्सेस वर्टिकल फोर्सेस इज इक्वल टू आर ओके इज इक्वल टू आर सो वी नो दैट R is equal to R is equal to root of root of root of root of summation f x square summation summation of f x square summation of f x square plus summation of f y square plus plus Summation of f y square plus summation of f y square summation of f y. So we know that summation f x is equal to zero. Summation of f x is equal to zero. Because this is resultant force only in acted on only on vertical axis. So that's why summation f x is equal to zero. So when summation f x is equal to zero, then r is equal to it is summation of f y. R is equal to it summation of f y. Summation of f y. So algebraic sum of all vertical forces now calculate. Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. Now algebraic sum of all the vertical forces. For that assumption, when the force it is going upward, it will be take positive. If the direction of force it is in upward direction, it will be take positive. If the direction of force it is in downward direction, it will be take negative. Then direction of force it is in downward direction, it will be take negative. So summation f y is equal to summation f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to So first of all, this hundred sine alpha, hundred sine alpha, it is twenty one point seven three, twenty one point seven three. Then minus, so minus both are the value it is minus. So minus y minus it is downward direction minus hundred sine twenty one point seven three. Then second one it is minus one fifty one fifty sine. Alpha plus thirty. That is twenty one point seven three plus thirty. So it will be fifty one point seven three. Fifty one point seven three. Fifty one point seven three. Bracket close. Then third one it is minus two hundred. Minus two hundred. Sine twenty one point seven three. Twenty one point seven three. Okay. Twenty one point seven three. So it will be summation of y is equal to zero. Summation sorry summation of y is equal to Value from this summation f y is equal to it will get from this relation. So minus hundred sine twenty one point seven three then minus one fifty sine fifty one point seven three then minus two hundred sine twenty one point seven three. So it will be minus two twenty eight point minus two twenty eight point eight three five. Eight three five newton. Okay, that is we know that as per the information, R is equal to summation F Y. As per the given data, 
so r is equal to summation f y r is equal to it is summation f y that is 228.835 newton okay so negative to indicates the resultant it is in downward direction okay. resultant it is in downward direction so this one it is summation f f y is equal to summation f y is equal to r okay this is your final answer okay so resultant it is 228.835 newton and alpha it is 21.73 new 73